mwaufa ati ngana nika teka amani na malo kwa ngana 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 So, good evening. Um, I must say that this is one of my, I consider this, uh, this address or this broadcast to be a very serious one. It's a pity I can't do it on my page. It's a pity I can't do it on my page because my page has been my page has been uh, uh, hacked into i can't access even my account i can't access it i've been struggling from i think uh, since morning uh, after about 10 i've been struggling you know to to restore it i've been struggling to get the page i've been failing you know it is so bad the way they have done me that even if you go on google just on google you put the name there all those articles that used to come you can't access them all those articles that used to come you can't access them uh it is just like the page just never existed so um but i am struggling to recover the page i'm struggling to recover the page and i will recover the page i know already there was a propaganda that is being run there is a propaganda that is being run that I am scared of uh, the evidence that is on my page and I have deleted my page. I have not deleted my page and I'm not going to delete my page and I'm not going to remove anything on that page. If anything, if anything, I will be replaying some of uh, the things that I said. I'll be replaying them. I'll be reposting them. I'll be reposting them so that it gives you an opportunity to go through to hear what i said to see what i posted which others are inflaming to be almost like treason i want to bring it out so that people can see what is it that i said that i should be arrested for what is it that i posted or said that i should be facing you know, I should be facing a life imprisonment. What is it that I said? 
I'm not going to delete anything. And I want that page to come back. They are the ones who have, I know they are the ones who have labored with their machinery to bring down my page. They, they are the ones who have struggled. I know they have struggled. They are cowards. They are cowards. They hate that I'm going to talk at 20 hours. They quickly fought very hard to bring down the page. It's them who are cowards, not me. It's them who are cowards. It's them who have brought, out, who have brought down my page. And I can assure you I'm going to bring it because Facebook is beyond the, this uh, uh, new darkness government. Facebook is beyond that. Facebook is beyond that. And I'm going to do everything possible. If it means suing Facebook, I'm going to sue them. If it means suing Facebook, I'm going to do everything possible to make sure that my, my page comes back. If it means suing Facebook, I'm going to sue Facebook so that they bring back my page. I want my page back. I have not deleted my page. They are the cowards who have removed my page. Why should I delete my page? I've done nothing. I've done nothing wrong. And I am going to bring it back. Now, having said that, let me first of all start by uh, thanking people that uh, stood with me when I was maliciously, maliciously and unjustly arrested. I want to stand with the people that, uh, I want to appreciate the people that stood with me. Thank you very, very much. I know some of you were not able to come and see me because they had restricted me. I was being kept like, you know, a rebel leader. That's how I was being kept. I was being kept like a rebel leader. People were not allowed to see me. I was like a person that is so dangerous. People are not allowed to see me. Even my wife was compromising, was begging to see me. This has never happened. I have not seen it. I have not seen it. Not even when President Haka Inde Ichirema was arrested for, for treason, for trumped up charges, which of course I still maintain they are trumped up charges. Not even him, when he was arrested, did Vamaewa Mutinta negotiate to see him. But for me, my wife was negotiating to see me. People were negotiating to see me. Like I'm with this dangerous criminal. For what? For what? What did I do? Who am I that you should, you know, put up all these measures? For what? For what? And so I'm so grateful to some of you that stood with me. I know it's not all of you. Some of you were celebrating. Some of you were happy that I was arrested, but that, that doesn't matter. I am grateful to the people that stood with me, especially those that came or you tried to come and you couldn't come because you knew you were not going to be allowed. I'm very grateful. For those that came in, I am so, so grateful. I am grateful, I mean, to everyone. I'm great. I, I, I don't know if I should go on to mention names, but I might leave out some, but really, I'm so grateful. I'm grateful to you, you know, First and foremost, I'm grateful to Honorable uh, uh, Brian Munduvile. I am really grateful. Honorable Brian Munduvile, indeed you are a leader. Because a leader is one that comes in when you are beset with problems. A leader comes in to help you. And this is what you did. You showed leadership. And this is not the first time that Honorable Munduvile, you have done this. Even during the time of President Edgar Chagwalungu, when I was arrested, you never came to see me, and which I understood because of your position. But you kept on calling my wife. You kept on encouraging my wife. I was very grateful. My wife remained indebted to you, and she speaks highly of you. She's so appreciative of you. This time around, you came in, you organized lawyers, you helped even with my wife, you helped. I am so, so grateful. Really. I mean, those of you who think that, no, I support Brand Munduville because Alan Dishamo, you know, sometimes you need to learn this. Sometimes look at people for who they are and appreciate them for what they are. 
you never know when they will come for you. I have been supporting Honorable Brani Mundubire, not because he gives me money, but look what he did when I was, when I was incarcerated. He did so much. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful to my uh, brother, uh, Honorable Fuwe, Honorable Kapianga, for standing in as my sureties. Thank you very much because it is because of you that I secured the bond. It is because of you when the police were trying to play, you know, tricks here and there, you were on hand. You were on high alert to make sure that you secured my freedom. I'm very grateful. Uh, you know, my lawyers, my, you know, I, I, I call you Honorable, Honorable Counsel Benjamin Mwewa. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much, um, you know, for, for, for being there. You were very alert. You, were, you, you arrived on the scene, you know, as the first lawyer and you pushed things around. I am so grateful. Ituna Partners, let me just say Ituna Partners because I know, I mean, other people were behind. So let me not mention individual lawyers, but Ituna Partners, thank you very much. You worked very, very well. My brother Mwansa, I'm so grateful. Lily, for coming early in the morning there, I'm so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, people. Uh, Binwell, Binwell, you are my man. Binwell uh, Mkatuka, you are my man. You have always stood with me. Whenever, what, 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 you are always there. You are my personal lawyer that is always there. Thank you, thank you very, very much for, for being there for me. Um... Of course, my, 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 my traditional sweetheart, if I could call her that way, my traditional sweetheart, Tasila Lungu, you came in with my brother, uh, Mwansa, Patrick Mwansa. Thank you very much, you guys. I mean, seeing you there, I mean, made me, you know, I was encouraged to see you there. I mean, you came as a couple. Thank you very much, Tasila. I mean, really... You, 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 are, you are just amazing. You are amazing, Tasila. Patrick, you are amazing young man. Please, I am I'm so grateful. Bowman, my man, thank you. Thank you very much, Bowman. You know, you, 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 uh, like I told you, I told you, Bowman, that uh, I'm going to, I'm going to say this. You, you returned the favor. Bowman, you returned the favor. I, I looked after Messi for you and you returned the favor uh, to, uh, you know, help my wife. Though you didn't do as good as I've been doing to Messi. Iwakuli Messi have been running around, shani milk, what, 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 what. Iweta wale telepona milk ya kwa kia. Next time bring milk. Inawa na wawenda westra milk. So, but anyway, beyond that, beyond, uh, we can put that aside. I mean, what I really appreciate about Bowman, you know, is that true friendship. Whenever I've spoken about Bowman, I've always said he's a friend. And indeed, Bowman showed that our friendship goes beyond our differences. Our differences, including the differences that we have in Macy. So I am so grateful, Bowman. I mean, other people, yes, they came, but you didn't only come once. You, you came again. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Bowman. You are really uh, a great friend. You are really a great friend. Va Emmanuel Mwamba, Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba, Vashivu Kombewandi, thank you very much. You know, as usual, you came in as a brother. You know, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. I, I mean, uh, you, are, you are a true brother. Emmanuel Mwamba, you are really a true brother. You know, we have come a long way. We have seen... You know, we have been through different situations and we share that brotherhood. I'm so, 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 so grateful. Uh, my, 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 my fellow campaigner, my fellow campaigner for Brand Mundurile, uh, Chanda Nonde. I mean, Mwancho Andi Awe, Ulimwaume, Ulimwaume, thank you very much, Andi. Uh, I'm really humbled. I'm really humbled. Uh, you know, your, 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 your brotherly love that we have, the sh the, 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 what we share, it's really something. And um, I'm really grateful. We are indeed a family. We are indeed a family. Of course, 
I had also other people that came in from the, you know, the political scene. I mean, I had my brother, uh, Harry Kalava, coming in to see me with uh, other, um, other, 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 other leaders of the party. Uh, I remember um, uh, President, uh, what's, his, what's her name? I mean, uh, our only, you know, female president, apart from Banawaki, you know, you came in. Uh, thank you very much. Um, who else did I see there? Who else did I see there? I know some people, some of you came and you couldn't see me, but um, we did interact. Savoy, thanks very much. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm so grateful. I mean, again, Savoy, you are a wonderful friend. You know, we, we, we differ in, in one way, here and there, but we, are, we have got a special relationship. I'm so grateful uh, uh, to you. I'm grateful to, you know, the police officers at uh, IBEX and the other police officers also, even from, from force headquarters, I'm, I'm grateful. As well as uh, the police officers at, um, at Ridgeway, Ridgeway uh, Police Station. I know this was a difficult situation for you. As police officers, you work under orders and you had to do what you were asked to do. So I fully understand. I fully understand and uh, believe you me, I'm grateful, you know, for your kindness in spite of the difficult situation that, uh, you know, that, uh, that, 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 that was prevailing. You know, yes, somebody has mentioned, I mean, my, 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 my good brother, uh, Sean Tembo, Sean Tembo also came in. And Sean Tembo, I could see that you came, uh, you know, uh, with uh, a hand to help. You know, as always, you came in with a lawyer. You know, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful about that. Uh, do I? Did I leave off? Oh, there is one man that I don't want to mention. I mean, he, of course, he didn't want to be mentioned. But no, I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't avoid uh, mentioning your name. Um, you are a brother. You are a good friend. I mean, we have shared a lot. You have been very helpful. Even during this time, you were helpful. Thank you very much for the gift that you sent to my wife. I'm grateful. My wife said, you know, that one is really a true friend. Because for me, I'm a man that declares everything. If anybody gives me anything, I declare to my wife. And the time that you have shared anything, I've told my wife to say, Honore Bokafua gave me this. And this time around, when I was inside, you... Uh, send something to my wife and my wife is very grateful for 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 what she for what you did i mean really that is um uh, true uh brotherhood I'm, I'm so so grateful at the end of the day really away from all the bad things that were happening i want to say thank you to president haka in the hichinema because he created an opportunity for me to appreciate others you know, to appreciate others. I'm telling you, I am amazed. I am humbled by the love that I got from different people. Yes, including Teaser. Including Teaser, the young man that I, uh, that say, you know, certain things. But, you know, they all came came in. Even the people that, uh, um, you know, some of them have, 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 have actually been, have actually attacked them. But they came through. So that was quite good for me. Uh, yes, Chino uh, Dangwira, you know, he came in, you know, as, a, as always as, as a bodyguard, you know, looking after our incoming president for PF, Honorable Mundubire. You are doing a good job, Ngwira. Uh, uh, I'm so grateful. So at the end of the day, really, I want to say thank you very much to all the people that gave me uh, the support. I'm grateful to, especially to my lawyers, they really had to run around to secure my bond. I don't think I was going to be out even today. From the way I saw things, from the way the, pol the police were operating, I don't think I would have come out had it not been for the fight that the lawyers put in. But Benjamin Muelwa, uh, really, you, you, you did a good job. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Mwansa, you did a very good job. Thank you very much. My 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 uh, uh sureties thank you thank you very very much now having said all that i need to move on now to to 
face to face you know this monster that is growing in our country um, i have to say this this monster that is growing in our country our country is being attacked by 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 a monster in politics through the so called new new what new darkness government new darkness government and I'm, I'm, I must say this. I'm going to say this. I'm not going to beat about the bush. I will say things as they are. I am ready to, I'm telling you, I am ready to face anything for speaking out the truth, for facing the monster and telling it as it is. I am ready to face anything. I'm ready to face anything. I'm not scared of anything. I'm not even scared of that, you know, that uh, life imprisonment that you are brandishing. You are brandishing, trying to scare me with life imprisonment. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care to go in jail for life for speaking the truth. I don't care. I would, I would feel bad if uh, I'm going into prison because I've stolen if I've stolen, if I've done something wrong, I can feel bad and I can be apologetic and I can humble myself. Some of you have been saying, humble yourself, humble yourself. Humble myself for what? Humble myself for what? What is it that I've done that I should humble myself for? What is it that I've done that I should humble myself for? For speaking out the truth? For facing the devil in the eyes and telling it as it is? The life that Zambians are leading today is, is, is a disaster. Is a disaster far much worse than what President Hata in the President Edgar Lungu left. This is a fact. President Hata in the is leading a country into misery, into disaster. He is leading, as we are talking, things are going into disaster. And you want me to be to, to not to talk about it. No, you want me not to talk about it. No, 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 no. I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it. I'll speak. Even for those of you who are cowards, who are scared to talk. I'll speak for you because what I'm talking about here is not for my benefit. It's not that I'm talking Ubunga Nagupua. I've eaten. I have relatively a good life. But many people are not living a good life. Many people can't afford, can't afford this, this tonkati tea that I'm drinking. They can't afford it. They can't afford tonkati tea. They can't afford it. Co coffee, rather. They can't, they can't afford. They can't afford the sugar. They can't afford mini meal. They can't afford bread. They can't afford to travel. There is misery out there. There is misery out there. And you want me to shut up. You want me not to talk. Are you serious? Are you serious? You want me not to talk? You don't want me to talk. You want me to shut up. At, I shut up. And you are scaring me. Eh? You are scaring me. You will go to jail. You will go to jail. Go to jail for what? Go to jail for what? I'm not going to jail. Let me tell you this. I'm not going to jail. I'm not going to jail because even if you take me in jail, you put me in bondage. As long as I'm innocent, I'm not a prisoner. I'm not a prisoner. Even if you take me to jail, if I am innocent, I am not a prisoner. I'm not a prisoner. There are other terms that we give to such people. People who fight for society and they go to jail. We don't call them prisoners. We don't call them prisoners. And I'll never be a prisoner. I'll never be a prisoner. You can get me, lock me up. You can even put that maximum sentence you want. I'll still never be a prisoner. Chilipatayali will never be a prisoner. Never. Never. I will never be a prisoner. Even if you kill me. Even if you kill me. I will never be a prisoner. I will never be a convict. I will never be a convict. 
I will never be a convict because I've done nothing wrong. And anyone who is reasonable, anyone who is reasonable can tell. Anyone who is reasonable can tell. Unless those who are eating, those who are eating from the new dawn government, eh? you are calling it new dawn government, I'm calling it a new darkness, a disaster government, that's what I'm calling it. This is a disaster government, President Haka in the Ichilema, I'm saying it. I'm saying it. I'm not writing it. And it's going to remain here. If you want, record this. Start recording. And record this. And I'm saying President Haka Inde Ichilema is a disaster president. Is a disaster president. Is a president who deceived Zambians and ascended into power and he has forgotten Zambians. I will repeat that. Mufuikishe. You can write it if you want. President Haka Inde Ichilema is a president who ascended into leadership, deceiving Zambians, and he has abandoned them. He has abandoned them in, the, in preference of foreigners. In preference of foreigners. That's what Haka Inde Ichilema is doing. This country is no longer being led by Zambians. It's being led by foreigners. It's being led by foreigners. Foreigners are dictating what should be done. Haka Inde Ichilema is receiving instructions from foreigners. This is what it is. And he's causing misery. He's causing misery. People are dying. People are suffering. And you don't want me to talk at Nova Kukaka. I'm expressing myself. I'm expressing myself. According to what I'm seeing, according to what I'm seeing, you go out and, you know, you go out and propagate eh, these lies, propagate these lies, charging me at, no, you are inciting soldiers. You are inciting soldiers. I'm a, so I'm a soldier, they can't complain. And if I tell you to say, I'm a soldier, am I, insult, am I inciting them? No problem, no problem. I'm not going to go into details of that. I'm waiting for you in court. I'm waiting for you in court. I want you to prove, I want you to prove how I incited soldiers. Me, a simple public lawyer, how I incited how I incited those soldiers. I'm waiting for you in court. Even if you want, if President Haka Inde Ichilema he wants, he can even be a major street. He can even be the major street. Jakai is the president. He has got powers to do everything. He can do anything. He can even now, he can even put aside Waka Pokola and bring a bodyguard from Beijing to be his bodyguard. He can do that. He's a president. He has got powers. This is how dictators behave. Those are, you know, the signs of a dictator. They have no regard to the norms of the country. They have no regard. A president is, is, is protected by the police. But Haka Inde Ichilema is protected by somebody that he has brought in, a civilian. A civilian is the one who sits in a car in front. It is the first time that I'm seeing it. And I'm, I've not seen it anywhere in, in any country. Never. I've not seen a personal president, a personal bodyguard, you know, sitting in front in the motorcade is the one who is opening the door. Instead, please, my wife, instead of, instead of a, a trained police officer, instead of a trained police officer, President Haka Inde he has personalized presidency. But personalizing presidency, that is what we call autocracy. That is what we call autocracy. Where you make now, everything is about you. You are the president. You can do anything. You can salute whichever, whichever way you want. This country, we don't salute like this. But Haka Inde Ichilema, because he's an autocrat, he's an autocratic leader, he can do whatever he want. He still remains, you know, the army commander. No one can do anything to him. That is, those are tendencies of a dictator. Those are tendencies of a dictator. And what President Haka Inde Ichilema is showing is dictatorship. He deceived us. He deceived us. 
Even me, I was here supporting him to say, no, 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 I think we are going to have things better. He said, no, we are going to, you know, investigate. But police, you should investigate before you arrest people. And when you arrest people, make sure you give them bond. Is that what is happening? Is that what is happening right now? This is what Haka Indeichlema said. But is it what is happening in this country today? Is it what is happening today? Is what, this is what Haka Indeichlema said. Investigate before you arrest. But wa, 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 wa UPND, the modus operandi, yago, they are convicting people in public on social media. They convict people on social media before they are even arrested, before they are even taken to court. They convict them. I have been convicted, already have been convicted on social media. I've been convicted. Tayari received some classified documents from a soldier. And it has been trending on social media. Tayari received and everyone is tayari received, tayari received. Nde milole la kukoti, nde milole la kukoti. Muka mleta yo yonomu soja. Uyo wino napo kereko efintu, nde milole la. I'm waiting for you. I want to go to court. I want you to bring that soldier who gave me whatever you are talking about. I want you to see. They say he who alleges must prove. He who alleges must prove. That's what they say. He who alleges must prove. You have my phone. You have, you, have, you have got access to my Facebook account and everything. Get the evidence and bring it to court. Because you have spread it. You have spread it on social media. You have convicted me as somebody that received classified information from the defense force. I want you to prove that in court. I want you to prove that in court. I want you to prove it. Therefore, I'm going to prove. You should prove. You should prove. Bring that soldier and bring that classified whatever it is that I got. Muka chite prove. Na mwewa le supporter. You will be shamed together with these dictators. You will be shamed together. You will be shamed together. UPND is convicting people in so on social media. Haka Inde Ichilema is convicting people through the media. He's convicting people through the media. How many times has he been calling other people uh, 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 corrupt, criminals, eh? a clique? He has been calling other people cliques who have stolen, who have run down this country. But if you look, if you look at the cases, the way they are going, even Miringolungu, you are still takatakari. Eh? Miringolungu. It was highly publicized. Miringolungu, 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 Uyo. You are, you are entering Amanole. Let's see how far you are going to go. And on a number of cases, I can tell you, Zambians, I have looked at a number of these cases. UPND government, this disaster government, is very good at making propaganda, convicting people on social media, but they have no substance, just like they have no substance in my case. My case has no ground. It is a vexation, vexatious uh, they are vexatious uh, charges. They have no substance. Vexatious charges. They have no substance. And yet on social media, you everyone, hey, we like a kuma soldier. We like a kuma soldier. Hey, mo, na kete kuma soldier shan. Na kete kuma soldier finish na landire. Muka firete. I want you to bring that what I said where I incited soldiers. I'm waiting for you to come to court, and you can clearly see. If these people had evidence, like they were babbling on social media, Tayari has done this, Tayari has done this, would they put a case on 28th? My bond was yesterday. 7th. At court, court at part 28. And the Mukamona part 28, I will go to court. They will still be takatakarin. They will still be takatakarin. I can, I can dare you this, I'm telling you this. But on social media, very busy. 
busy eh, eh, convicting me. Take a yeni, kamulete leo ino musoja, mumulete, you, show, you should prove, he who alleges must prove. Ndefu wa muka tula nge, uyo ino musoja, na mwema uwe ni mwema le support awonse. Eh, mwema le le umbo tuma articles, tayari, u, u go in for life. Eh, tayari, eh, he has touched a, a, a wrong button. Eh, we shall see. We shall see. We shall see. I want to see that soldier. I want to see that soldier. Tam ton ton kanya lok ton ton kanya. Eh? I mean sometimes we fin to my ingiri na mofie. Which trend soldier would be leaking, you know, classified information to Chilfatel? Eh? Who am I? For what? Imagine. Utter nonsense, to be honest. Utter nonsense. Utter nonsense. Just to convict me, just to, because Chilfatehadi is talking about real issues. And you want to divert the, the, the main issue from what is happening. Me, what I've been talking about is very, sim very simple issues. I've been talking about Zesco. I've been talking about Zesco. Zesco, you, are, you want to give a contract to foreigners. I have said no. You can't do that. And if you do that, I will protest. I was going to protest and I'm going to protest if Zesco continue with that, uh, that deal. Zesco, there is no way Zesco can be giving a contract to foreigners when Zambians are there. This is my issue. This is my issue. And I've been talking to that uh, uh, the minister to say whatever arguments that you have been making, they don't make sense. They don't make sense. That's what I've been saying. Uh, Peter Kapala, sorry. Peter Kapala. I've been talking about Peter Kapala, telling that as a minister, the arguments that you have been giving, they don't make sense. You can't give Ama pause for a foreign company to give, to, to, to deliver. I have said no. And these are things that are making me say, this government... Is a foreign government. Is a foreign government led by people sponsored by foreigners, by Zambians sponsored by foreigners, and they are trying to, uh, you know, to pay back. This is what I've been saying. That is my simple. That is that is my plea. I went on to talk about the issues of the Black Mountain, eh? The Black Mountain, eh? Kuri pita kabu, kuri number kabuswe, eh? Is it? Pokamuswe, I'm even confusing their names. Eh? Pokamuswe, I said, look, the Black Mountain is a mess. And the people who are complaining about the Black Mountain, if anything, they are not even PF. They are actually UPND youths. UPND youth who suffered for you. UPND youths who made you to be ministers, to be presidents. These are the ones who are complaining. These are the ones who are complaining. And I'm saying... Can you go and sort out that? Sort out that mess. But instead of addressing these issues, you, because you know how to play with the naive, some naive Zambians, you quickly concoct something, arrest Tayari, and throw this that no Tayari is inciting soldiers. It is a decoy. It is a decoy. It is not true. And you know it. You know it can't stand. But because you don't want me to continue talking about this, you bring in something that is so sensational. Tayari has touched soldiers. Tayari is inciting soldiers. How can I do that? And how did I do it? Nonetheless, no problem. No problem. You are alleging. Let's go to court. Let's go to court. But in my view, my cases are a diversion of the real issues that I've been talking about. It's a diversion from the real issues to bring in something that you can be busy talking about. Real issues. I'm talking about fuel. I've been very, very categorical to say, please, fuel, you just have to bring in subsidies. And I'm happy that uh, my, 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 uh, my Archbishop, Dr. Alec Banda has joined the bandwagon to call for subsidies for fuel. Because clearly, 
I mean, life is going haywire. Life is becoming terrible. Life is becoming terrible. And we have no choice. You, we can't sustain this. What is currently going on, we can't sustain. This is disaster. And that's why I'm saying it is a disaster government. It is a disaster president. Which country do you have? Fuel fluctuating. Which country? Where did you see that? These are real issues that need to be addressed. Not to be coming up with, the, you know, a outrageous charges against me, putting me inside to shut me up. And when I come out, no, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk. You will go to jail. Why should I go to jail? What crime am I committing? I'm telling you what is happening in this country. I'm telling you that you are being disastrous. You are being disastrous. You are supposed to make things better, but you are making things worse. People are killing themselves because of the misery that you are putting them in. And you want to say, no, 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 I've committed a crime. What crime? What crime for telling you the truth? Is it not true that people are killing themselves because some civil servants are indebted, are embroiled in debt? They are failing to come out? Wasn't it part of the campaign promise that they should be debt swap? Wasn't it part of the, debt, the, the, the campaign promise? Wasn't it part of the campaign promise that the civil servants were going to be, uh, to be given an increment of 1,500 across the board? Wasn't it? If I talk about it, then it's a crime? And you call yourself a democratic a government? Eh? You call yourself a democratic government. We talk about issues that you promised the Zambians. You promised them. You promised them debt swap. Up to today, you have even gone quiet about debt swap. One five increment. You have gone quiet about it. Instead, prices are going up. And you are even removing subsidies. And you think uh, uh, that is leadership. Eh? Is that the leadership? That is that why people chose you? Is that why people chose you? The civil servants, they went in multitude to go and vote for you. What have they gotten? Number civil servants, what have they gotten? You are bragging about, no, uh, 40,000 people, we are going to employ them. Up to today, you are still dancing around. You haven't employed them. This is April. This is April. This was supposed to be, start, this, this should have started in January. It should have started in January. You were bubbling. Social media was awash with, no, come January, this new dawn government will employ people. April, na number tamula vengisha. And on top of that, we have got teachers who are cheated like children. Every day they go to the head to their to the to their head office. They go to the ministry. No, we'll put you on payroll. We'll put you on payroll. We'll put you on payroll. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And if in Delanda, what I'm talking about here, this is what you said. This is what you promised people. This is why people voted for you. And you say, I'm going to be jailed. Where you kashawana? If there is anyone who should be in, who should be in jail or who should be in court, it's Haka in the Ichlem. For obtaining leadership by false pretense. Haka in the Ichlem. You should be the one to, be, to go to court. Not me. Not me. Not me. And far from it to even contemplate to say you will go for life. Forget it. What have I done? What have I done? I'm telling you the truth. That's what, and you want to, to jail me for life? And you call yourself a democratic a president? Eh? You are even daring to talk about children. Hey, Ukashavan. Hey, Ukashavan. For what? I'm not a thief. I'm not a thief. I'm not going to leave my children. Because I'm not committing a crime. I'm reminding you what you told people. That's what I'm reminding you of. You can't take people for granted. 
You can't take people for granted. You can't come and teach people, cheat people, and think they will just all oh, keep quiet because you are intimidating them. Because you have got power now, you can arrest anyone at any time and throw them inside. Oh, you know, to be honest with you, I'm ready. I am ready. I'm ready. Now, I'm going to pay them for a bit more. I said, Munjika day, but it's only in the catra poor chishing kitchen day never. What I'm talking about here, you said them, and it's not that you can't do them, it's not that you can't do it, it's not that these things are impossible. You can do them, and okay, fine, even if things are tough, even if things are hard, you are supposed to be humble. You are supposed to be humble. Instead of harassing me, intimidating me with vex vexatious charges, you are supposed to say, uh uh, Tayari, look, Mona, look, this is a situation. We are working on this. We are trying to do this. I can even help you. I can even help you to communicate with people to say, okay, they are doing this. Okay, by so and so, maybe things will be like this. But you guys, you are being arrogant. Parliament, she's just being arrogant. You don't answer questions. Eh? This is eh, a eh? a director without a CV. Very arrogant. You have never even applied. Directors, they have CVs. Directors, they apply. Directors are interviewed. We don't pick directors from the, from, from the streets. My son will become officer director. Direct of what? Direct of what? And you say, no, 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 no. We are fighting corruption. We are fighting corruption. We are fighting kaderism. We are bringing professionalism. You go and bring Tawokawana without a CV. Eh? Without a CV, without application. At no, is a director. What are you doing to those young people who went to school, went to universities, got employed, and they have been working for a long time, and all of a sudden they have they have they have tawokawana without a CV telling them what to do? And you are calling yourself a government, a new dawn government. It is a disaster. It is a disaster. I'm simply telling you the truth as it is. No, we are fighting corruption. We are fighting corruption. You are fighting corruption. You are fighting corruption. You are fighting corruption among your, uh, your adversaries. You are fighting corruption among your, your adversaries. You are not looking what is currently going on among your ministers. What is the difference between the PF and the new Don government? Because Muniba PF, whatever, you know, my ministers, they were not being investigated. At least, long even at the record, chitoterari leko mkoti, chirufiari leko mkoti, salichirufiari leko mkoti. But to, to this new disaster government, all those who are in government now, they are not corrupt. Corruption, they are only fighting corruption among those who are out. And even among those who are out, most of them, they are just convicting them on social media. Before they even go to court, they are convicting on social media. Peddling lies about people which you can't bring before court. You have been talking about that presidential jet. Up to today, we, don't, we haven't seen one person who has been arrested for it. You have been talking about fertilizer. Eh? Because others were corrupt. Who has been arrested for, 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 for fertilizer? Eh? And how much did you buy fertilizer with this new supplier of yours? You bought even it at, at more expensive price than you used to buy it. No, we don't want corrupt people. We don't want corrupt people. Move patarata limit. And you are calling yourself, no, we are a government, we are a new dawn government. You are a new disaster. You are a disaster government. And President Akainde Ishlema should not feel proud. He should not even be talking about to say, no, I've gone eight months without being paid. By the way, you have been in government for, for seven months. So how are you claiming eight months, eh, Sarah? And for what? I agree with Sean Tembo. For what?
for what? You can brag about to say, no, I've gone whatever, eight months without salary. If you are doing something, you are boasting that no, in the in the dollar will go down. You have brought nothing in the, in the treasure. You have brought nothing. You have brought nothing in the treasure. So what good are you Tell me, instead of threatening me, no, ukashawa, no, ukashawa, na tell me what he has done. If you show me what he has done, believe you me, I'll start praising him. I'll start praising him. If you can show me what he has done, I'm going to praise him. I'm going to praise him. But so far, it is a disaster. It is a disaster. This government is a disaster government. And you shouldn't even be threatening me. You shouldn't even be threatening me. But if that is what pleases you to arrest me for to shut me up, fine, arrest me, put me inside. But believe you me, my God will never sleep over his people. God will never sleep over his people. The people that are going hungry, the people that are going hungry, crying, they are tears we will not go down in vain. God will hear them. God will hear them. I'm not a liberator. No, I'm not a liberator. God himself, God himself is the one who looks after his children. And those people who are complaining, who are regretting to having a devoted for you, those people, their tears, they are not dropping in vain. They are not dropping in vain. I don't know what will happen. Don't say no, I'm inciting anyone. I don't know. But I know that my God never sleeps. God never sleeps over his people. So you can remove Chirufetayali. You can even kill Chirufetayali. But I can assure you, God will come in for the people like he did for the Israelites. He went and rescued them from the ruthless, ruthless Pharaoh, he, he went and removed them from there. God never sleeps for his people. I'm talking because I know God is not happy with the way Zambians are suffering. He's not happy. God is not happy. And if you think God is happy, you are cheating yourselves. You are making a mess of this country with your government. You are making a mess of it. You are making a mess of it. You can't increase sugar number, sugar, 2 kg. Eh? 2 kg, 56 kwacha, sugar. Ubunga, 180. How will people survive? Fertilizer, you were talking about, eh, ndine mulimimzanu, ndine mulimimzanu. Fertilizer, hili shinga. Fertilizer, hili shinga. Because nobody neto atampo kulima. How much will be fertilizer? And the majority Zambians depend on agriculture. So if, we, if the farming inputs are expensive, how are they going to survive? And I tell you at no, Mwikateni, life imprisonment. Life imprisonment. Life imprisonment for what? For telling you the truth? I'm a soldier, I'm a soldier, and you are inciting them. How? Why? Bring back the page, bring back the page so that you can bring out those videos where I'm inciting soldiers. Bring those, bring those. I'm ready. I'm ready. I am ready. I'm ready. Here you received chakut, you received mukavale tawaveli. I want to see that soldier who was sending me things. I want to see. Vamayowa tamba tamba. Vamayowa tamba tamba. Avantu. People are coming to me. Avantu wankane. Wakers. Every day. Foni yandiawa kwati nileba, kwati, kwati mbomba kuleba office. People are complaining. And of course, the private sector, the, 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 the employers in the private sector are taking advantage because government itself is not treating its workers properly. 
So even those in the private sector, they are taking advantage. Among drivers, they are being treated like they are not human beings, like they are machines. Panotulela and Dama drivers, they are busy driving, crossing borders, persevering bad roads, and at the end of the day, they are being paid nothing. And when they cry, they go to labor office, there is no help. And yet, Vamaewa Tamba Tamba, Mwendramuli GX, Nayako Mwabika, Nama allowances full, full. But what about the taxpayers? What about the taxpayers? These are real issues that I'm talking about. These are real issues. And you want to threaten me with life imprisonment. Mube peref. Mube peref. I will die talking. Ina will die talking. Nelly onka fwa. Imboko shum kalashi kaile ingira panshin kalalanda. I will continue talking. Na mumboko shum kalalanda. Kalalanda. I will continue talking. I will never stop. I will never stop. And I can assure you that. I will be long dead. I will be long dead. But my voice. Mukalayu mfa voice yani. Mukalayu mfa voice. Wandi, it will haunt you. It will haunt you. Because. I know. I don't speak from without. I speak because God has given me. This gift to speak. On issues. People don't just follow me anyhow. They follow me because I speak real issues. I don't insult. I just say things as they are. I'm not insulting President Akaibe Ishirema. Saying that he's a disaster government is not insulting him. It is just a fact. Because he's messing around. On real issues, on many issues, on many fronts, Akaibe Ishirema is messing. And therefore, he's a disaster president. Leading a disaster government. Tense reshe yo. Teku tukana'a. It is a fact. It is a fact. Today I've been talking to so many people. And most of the people are those who actually voted for Waka in the Ichirim. And they are complaining. They are regretting having voted for Waka in the Ichirim. They are complaining having voted for Waka in the Ichirim. And Waka in the Ichirim is boasting. Walking with pride that no, he's a president of this republic. And yet, he has made things worse. Far much worse than the way Edgar Lungu left. Edgar Lungu had his own issues, yes. But if in Tafiarifi, at least name Pia Shale Moneka. In this government, there isn't even no money. There isn't even no money. Not even by press singer. But praise singer, they keep hoping, they keep hoping that Shala Monica, but they are not having it. Because the people that circulates money into the economy, that injects money into the economy, it's the private sector. Those people that you are calling corrupt, those people that you are calling cadres, those are the people that inject money into the economy. But you are not paying them, you are not paying them. You are not even paying Banamayo who took beans, who took rice, supplied rice to government. You are not paying them. Contractors, you are not paying them. Zambian contractors. And you, you are looking at them at no, they are cadres. There was that, there is that, there, there is that SI of citizen empowerment. So through citizen empowerment, a number of Zambians are part of the the, the the infrastructure development. They borrowed money from different banks. They borrowed money from different banks, injected it into these projects, road projects, you know, construction projects, and you don't want to pay them, but no, they are cadres. These are Zambians who were looking at being empowered, you have turned them into cadres and you don't want to pay them. These are the people who are killing themselves. You remember that man who parked his vehicle along the road and went and killed himself. That man is a contractor. That man was a contractor. And he was being followed by people and yet government is owing him money. 
and he couldn't handle it. He killed himself. And you are calling yourself a government, a new don government. A government that has come to save people. No, you are killing people. You are killing people through your harsh conditions that you are putting uh, you know, around. Not paying people. You are killing people. You are killing people. Civil servants, you don't want to help them with their debt. Which, if anything, was caused by a government. Even if it was not the new dawn government, but you are supposed to help them. You don't want to help them. That's why they are killing themselves. And you, you want to boast that you are doing something? You want to arrest me for telling you for something that you promised? You promised these people that you are going to help them. There is one lady, you know, from, uh, I think, Luapula. She was telling me to say, but me, I, I, can't, I can't handle it. They have grabbed my house, whatever, whatever, because she had injected money into uh, a road construction as part of the citizen empowerment, the 20%. And she has not been paid. And the house was grabbed. And you want to call yourself that you are saving people? And you want to, to blame it everything? No. It's the PF. It's the PF. Even this issue of talking about it's the PF, it's the PF. How many months? Monen, umuntu ngaingile nchito. If you get employed, you are given a probation of six months. Of three months. Ngaya shupa three months, they add. You have six months. You are in your seventh month, going to eight months, and you are still talking about the PF government. Where are your connections? Where is your IMF? Eh? When are we going to see your ingenious plans, your developmental plans as economists? When are we going to see them? When are we going to see them? When are we going to see those calculations of fuel going down? When are we going to see them? When are we going to benefit out of that? When are we going to see that? It is a disaster. Disaster government with a disaster president. That is just what it is. And I'm just saying this as it is. If it is a crime, that warrants uh, for me to spend my years in prison... For life, for life, I don't care. God will look after my children. God will look after my wife. I don't care. So don't tell me, no, what, 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 hey, what, what, no, 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 no. Don't worry. Don't, I am not even worried about my children. Me, I'm not worried about my children. The day that God will take me, I know he has a good plan for my children. I know my children will have a better life than myself. I know. No matter what, because what I'm doing, I'm not doing it selfishly. I can close my gate and close everything and I can eat well with my family. I can live well. But I'm doing this for those that are suffering. And if I am sacrificing my life for those that are suffering, there is no way my God is going to let down my, is, is going to let down my children. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. It will never happen. My children will not suffer because they have a father who cares for others. If I die, my children will be looked after by others. God will look after them. So don't scare me with that nonsense of saying, your children, your wife, don't even bring that crap to me. No. God is the one who is going to look after my children. About when I'm going to die, I don't know when I'm going to die. I can go to sleep and I might not wake up. I can be drinking, drinking this I can be drinking this tonkati coffee and I can die just by being choked. I can die from anything. And if it means me dying in the hands of President Daka in the Ichirema, so be it. So be it. If it means me dying in the hands of President Daka in the Ichirema, so be it. But I will never shy away to talk. And I'm not talking because of because most of the times when I talk, hey, Asian Chani, somebody's going to pay you. Who pays me? When I was talking for Waka Inde Ichi when he was arrested, did he pay me? I just say things as they are. And it doesn't matter who is involved. 
It doesn't matter. I have gone for Bowman. Bowman has been my friend and everything. But in relation to Mexico, I've been, I've been going against Bowman. This is just me. I just say things as they are. Anyway, I think I've made my points. I've made my points. And just a recap is simply to say, you know, this government is messing up this country. And they have got a modus operandi of convicting people is on social media before they go to court, just like what they have done with me. Busy convicting me on social media, but I'm waiting for them to go to court. So all those of you who are talking, hey, tally this, tally this. If you have got evidence, help the state, because I know they will have very difficulty, they will have difficulties to, to prove their allegations. So all those who have got evidence, go to the state, help them, so that this case maybe can stand. Otherwise, it has got no legs. Just like many other cases, which they convict people on social, on social media, in the media, but in court, the cases are crumbling. These cases will be crumbling like rotten apples very soon. Most of these cases that they have excited the public will be, crumb, will be falling down like rotten apples because they have no basis. And I, I was very shocked, really, to see the Miringo case, you know, being withdrawn after it had gone, whatever, whatever, whatever. And they say, you know, no. What is going on? What is really going on? I'm really, really shocked. So anyway, for me, I'm waiting for you in court. I'm waiting for you in court now, I'm supporter. All of you have been supporting. Uh, help the state to come and prove their case. How I got that, whatever you are talking about, and who gave me, I want to see. And how I incited soldiers. You, you bring it out. My page is down. I am working on it so that it comes back. Nothing is going out of there. Nothing is going out of there. Everything will be as it was. I am fighting to bring that page back. If it means suing Facebook, I'll sue it. In terms of this government, I'm saying it is a disaster government because President Hakainde Ichilima is leading a government which is bringing misery on people. They have messed up things more than the way they found them. The lives of Zambians is worse than the way they found it. And I've given examples on some of these issues that uh, they promised to people and they're not happening. Prices of commodities are going up instead of going down. They, that's what they promised us. One good example is fuel. Baaka in the HDMI said he was going to sell it less than 12 kwacha. That's what he said. And now fuel is at 26 kwacha. Idea na 30 kwacha. This is what it is. Every month fuel is changing. There is no government that runs like that. There is no government that runs like that. They spoke about sugar. They spoke about uh, cooking oil. They spoke about uhunga. Uhunga number, would have to 200. And you say you are leading a, a successful government. No. They said, no, we are going to employ people. We have got teachers who are not on the payroll. Before you even employ those people, why don't you put those on payroll? And up to today, still nothing. You boast of, you know, CDF, CDF, CDF. This is the first quarter. You never gave money. You never released money. You are releasing money, which is supposed to be for the first quarter. You are releasing it in the second quarter. I hope you can improve. These are real issues that I'm talking about. Workers whom you promised that you're going to help them with debt swap. There is nothing. You have even kept quiet. You have even st stopped talking about this, what is this, eh? putting families together. Eh? You made propaganda, you know, we are making them, what, they are going to go back, they are going to stay together as families. You have gone quiet about it. And they are still, civil servants are asking, you are letting them down. You are letting them down. You are not paying them on time. When you promise them that, no, we, you will be getting paid on time. You are not paying them on time. And this is what I'm talking about. If that is inciting people, well, let's see. Let's go to court. Let's go and understand the language of inciting, what it means. 
If it means talking about people to say, follow Shani Avant, if it is inciting, let's go to court. Let's go and have that. Let's go and have that. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. So these are the issues that I'm talking about. They are real issues. Workers are being exploited in the private sector. Makamakama truck drivers. We were just burying that guy, you know, who died in, in a very bad uh, manner and the, the way things were handled, not proper. And government is quiet. And I'm reminding you, look at these issues. At no, you need to go to jail for life. Well, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. If you want, even out of what I've said today, you can add more charges. You can even put 100 charges. I don't care. I don't care to spend my years in prison because I will not be a prisoner. There will be another name that will be found for me for speaking for people and going to prison for having had spoken the truth. I will never be a prisoner. I'm not stealing. I'm not stealing. So I don't have a problem. You can come and arrest me. You can add more charges. No problem. If you want, you can kill me. No problem. I'm not worried about my children. I'm not worried about my wife. Because my God will never let them down. As long as I die for the truth, God will never let my family down. I think I've spoken enough. I'll keep trying to get back my page and I'll let you know. For now, good night.